Hey, this is Bobby Cool Daddy Slick Breeze at the Dynamic Disc Store here for the 2011 Glass Blown Open. And I thought I'd sit down with Jeremy, the owner and operator of Dynamic Discs, and find out a few things about the history of Glass Blown Open and, in general, some of the missions that Dynamic Discs has. So, Jeremy, the, the Glass Blown Open, tell us a little bit about the history of it. This is the ninth year for the Glass Blown Open. Um, Gabe Worley, Eric McCabe, Started the event, uh, wanted it to be a huge deal, got it rolling, uh, I think for the sixth GBO, made it an A-tier event, had I believe 140 players for the seventh. Uh, Eric McCabe and the club and Gabe decided to have Dynamic Discs get involved with it. Um, we, we ended up getting 140 the first year I think that was, 180 the next year, so we filled up both the courses at Jones. Uh, last year we decided to use Peter Pan and get 270 players in and uh, this year we've been fortunate enough to have the Emporia Country Club ball golf facility jump on board, allow us to set up a temporary course out there which uh, Eric McCabe uh, designed and coordinated to work with them. Um, so we've got 360 players this year, really excited for what's going on and uh, Looking forward to even next year already and, and uh, expanding the, the event to hopefully five, six, seven hundred players. Who knows? We want it to be the best event in the country or one of the top events in the country that players talk about and feel like we're on the right track for that. Wow. That is tremendous. That's a huge amount. But So 360 people for this event this year. Tell us a little bit more. What goes into putting together such a huge event like this? Uh, lots of, uh, lots of organization, uh, for the glass blown open especially, these, uh, these glass trophies are the history of this event for sure, um, Al Berger made these for the first events and up until he passed away I believe in 2006, uh, funny thing about these, three of them showed up and seven of them haven't yet, lost in transit, hopefully they, sh they come. Um, getting the artwork ready for the event, really got to thank uh, Crispin Carrasco, Sweet Phil Jackson. Uh, Crispin's come up with the, with the GBO designs for the last couple of years. Uh, Sweet Phil Jackson made all the course maps, the player book, he did a lot of the graphics for that. Um, Adam Searle as well pieced that player book together, worked his butt off for a couple nights in a row to make sure those things made sense. Um, Getting volunteers for the events is always important, uh, making sure you got the right staff and, and thankfully we've got a lot of really solid, uh, just core people that come to uh, almost all the DD events and help out and know what's going on. T-shirts, players packs, discs, um, getting all that stuff in, getting T-signs ready. Uh, it's a, a lot goes into it, and, and all all of a sudden, boom, it's here, and and uh, before we know it, it's gone. Okay, so you've been around disc golf for about since 2005 as Dynamic Discs. Um, put a lot of events together, did a lot for disc golf. But tell us, really, what is what is the mission of Dynamic Discs? Um, customer service, be number one or as best as as possible, and <clears throat> taking care of the golfers and our our supporters and, and our customers to uh, you know just to make sure that they come happy, come excited, uh, leave happy and want to come back for more whether it's a disc golf event, whether it's an order online, whether it's coming to the shop, uh, getting a custom die, whatever we want to make sure that uh, if, if there's ever anybody that's upset that, that we make it right with them and <clears throat> just keep people coming back. Awesome. Grow on the sport, really want to grow the sport and grow these events like, like we're experiencing. Well, I know that a lot of people when I talk to at events, they, they love a dynamic disc event. They always, think that, they always say they have a good time, um, they love the payouts and things like that. Tell us, you know, in your experience over the years, tell us what you think makes a successful disc golf event. Well, from the uh, the first one that, that McCabe uh, helped organize, it definitely come a long ways from a couple bins of discs and a in a minivan or a truck. Uh, now you know people come to a DD event, we got the RV, the trailer loaded full of all kinds of merchandise. Uh, I, I think that's an important aspect of the events. The, we always have a festive atmosphere, um, have music going, have a, a 
great group of guys behind the behind the tables helping out. Got a lot of the top pros in the country back there just helping people out where they need help. Um, the consistency with the events I think is very important. Players know what to expect when they show up. They know player meetings going to start on time. They know the first round is going to start on time within a couple minutes if, if things get long-winded. Um, they know the scores are going to be posted ASAP. You know, as soon as that first round gets done, as soon as we've got the scores plugged in, they get uh, put into the PDGA. Uh, the round ratings are posted. Players, players enjoy that. The conclusion of the events, boom, boom, boom. We want to get everybody in and out. We don't want to take forever. Uh, we get the award ceremony started uh, as soon as possible. And the amateurs get to pick their own payout. That seems to be something that people really enjoy and we've got one of the most impressive selections of merchandise on wheels in, in the uh, in the tournament scene. Um, I just think that everybody that we have is, is real friendly and accommodating and try to put off a professional and positive image all the time when we're out there. Okay, so you've had quite a journey in disc golf. Is there anybody that you'd like to thank for you know helping you out through all these years? Uh, it's a pretty <laughs> pretty long list for sure. Um, I definitely want to thank my parents who have, have supported it from from the beginning and, and of course still support my wife who puts up with uh, an amazing amount of weird things that happen, <laughs> unplanned work hours, unplanned phone calls, whatever. It's sometimes tough to get out of the office, break away, phone rings nonstop all the time. Uh, definitely a special thanks to Eric McCabe who um, up until and winning the 2010 World Championships. A lot of people might not have even known who he was, but he he uh, was the first guy to um, get Double D some exposure out there and support the, the name, support the brand, and do whatever he could to to get players to, uh, to see what Dynamic Discs was and who we are, and uh, definitely really appreciative of what he's done. All the sponsored players, mm -hmm. For sure, uh, it's a it's a big list of players that they all have their each they all have their own individual roles and uh, individual stories as far as how they got on the team. The entire DD staff is really what's made this journey uh, what it is today. And you know the work crew here: Adam Searle, Clay Hauser, uh, Money Mike in the die room. Those guys are all really impressive with what they do without. Clay and Adam especially, uh, all the IT stuff, it just goes over into their office and man, they, they take care of it and I'm really excited to have those guys on board. Uh, cool Daddy Slick Breeze, Bobby Brown for doing these kinds of things, for giving us the exposure online uh, that, that the sport has not seen, doing promotional videos for the Glass Blown Open or commercials for, for this, not only is that helping Dynamic Discs, that's helping the, the the game get some exposure, and uh, without without what you're doing, you know, we would not be where we are now. And, and I think that the sport is taking leaps and bounds because of some of the things that you're doing, and hopefully, more people follow suit. Um, for this event especially, uh, I've got to thank Discraft, who has backed the event for a long time now and provided so much sponsorship and support. It's it's really impressive and. Uh, super excited to have Mike Wagner, the uh, the main man there at Discraft here for this event. Um, Larry Cooper, that guy is uh, back in the whole Dirty Dozen Tour and the glass blown open to make it what it was last year, to make it what it is this year. Those two are the, are the main sponsors for the event. There's a lot more sponsors that go ahead and keep it short. Um, a lot more people there to thank, but um, we'll leave it at, at that for now. And if uh, you know, I want to thank everybody who's who supported Dynamic Discs and uh, who's going to continue to support. Well, thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate you answering my questions, and I'm excited for this weekend for the Glass Blown Open, and very excited to see how far Dynamic Discs can take it. And I know if you go to dynamicdisc.com, you can find out more information about all the events, especially the Dirty Dozen Tour. Um, you can right now you can go to glassblownopen.com and find out more information about this particular event. But definitely check out their store, see their selection they got, and you can go to the YouTube page, youtube.com slash dynamic discs, and see all the videos of their events. And hopefully, if you haven't been to one yet, we'll see you at some of the ne next ones.